Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing product research for Amazon FBA using Alibaba.com. If you are not familiar, don't worry, I'm gonna show you everything on my computer screen. So if you do like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna show you guys how you can find profitable products using Alibaba. Let's go. All right, we're inside of my screen on Alibaba.com, and this is the website where you can go to to find suppliers to make your products for your Amazon FBA business. So if you are private labeling a product and you need to have a couple hundred units made, a couple thousand units made, whatever the number is, you can come on Alibaba and these suppliers or manufacturers can make them in large quantities. They can put your logos on the products. They can customize the products for you and do pretty much anything you ask them to directly here on Alibaba.com. But for today, we're going to be using it to look for products to sell on Amazon. And what I want to just let you know right off the bat is that we're going to be using a software called Helium 10, which you can see right here on my desktop or kind of my toolbar up here. It is a Google Chrome extension for a software that helps you find products to sell on Amazon. Not only does it help you find products to sell, but it also shows you how much money the products are making and all of the data behind the scenes. That way, when you find a product that you think you might want to move forward with, you can back it up with real analytics, real numbers, so that you can be sure that that product is actually going to make you money and not just be a waste of time. So we're going to be utilizing Helium 10. I do have a discount code for you guys in the description of this video. So go ahead and be sure to use either of the codes or you can click directly on the link and it'll take you straight there and you'll be in good shape. You'll be able to see everything that I see on my screen here. So here we go. We are going to go ahead and start looking for products. Now there are so many different places where we can start. We can start at the category section where it breaks things down into home decor, industrial, health and personal care, fashion and beauty, sports and entertainment, tools and home improvement, so on and so forth. And it even, you know, goes even deeper into these subcategories so that you can kind of start niching down. So that is one place that we can start. We can go to the featured selections so we can look at top ranking products. We can look at new arrivals and many other things. So from here, we can, you know, really start at any of those jumping off points. We can even scroll to the bottom here and look at some of the products that are just kind of popping up. And um, we can, I mean, keep going and pick any place to start. But for today, I think I want to start with the categories. And I tend to gravitate more towards things like home decor, health and personal care, so for today, I think we'll go ahead and look at something that's a little bit outside of what I would normally click on just for fun. So let's go to tools and home improvement. That's not something I would typically gravitate towards, but we can look up any number of these items. I'm going to stay away from electronic products right off of the bat. You guys already know I do not like electronic products. They're too complicated too hard to you know figure out with the quality control so i want to find something a bit more simplistic so these tools and hardware a lot of them look like they could be electronic as well so i'm going to skip over that lights uh don't love because many are electric well many if not all are electronic we could potentially look at furniture. The only problem that I'm seeing with this is that furniture tends to be bulky and large and we don't want to sell any oversized items on Amazon because the fees are higher for them to fulfill the orders and also the shipping fees are higher to get them to the US. So I personally would not want to sell any furniture. Renewable energy, definitely not something excuse me, I understand very well, so we'll skip over that. Connectors, safety. Safety might be an interesting one, but again, this is my mind as someone who has sold on Amazon for many years. My immediate thought is always to limit liability and pick things that are not going to you know, harm anyone, injure anyone, because we don't want the stress of that. We want peace of mind with our simple products. So when I'm looking at these safety items, I just get a little bit stressed out thinking about, you know, the fact that people are using these in situations where fires might be involved or 
any other scenario like that. So I just kind of want to stay away from that. Security, a lot are electronic as well, and then consumer electronics. So it seems like this whole category is just filled with electrical items, and I don't want to mess around with that. So instead, why don't we go to sports and entertainment? That might be something that we can look at. I also normally would not gravitate towards this. But we've got, again, consumer electronics. We're going to completely skip over that. Home appliances is one that I find interesting. So I think we might dig a little bit there. And then sports and entertainment over here. So let's click on home appliances and see what we're able to find. So here we've got different ways to kind of segment these home appliances. We can source by category. So things like smart home appliances, which we don't want because those will be electronic, cleaning appliances, kitchen appliances, secondhand appliances, refrigerators, freezers, those are all huge. We don't wanna sell, oops, I didn't mean to click on that. We don't wanna sell any of those items. So let me see if there are smaller items that we could potentially find. These have discounts on the samples, but we don't really, we don't really care about that for now. A lot of these items look electronic. I'm gravitating towards whatever this is only because it's 69 cents in their new arrivals section for home appliances. So let me just click on that product and see what it is. It is a mini humidifier oil diffuser, which I'm not quite sure if if, if that's electronic. Yep, I see some cords. Um, it's just so cheap and I love the idea of a cheap product like five dollars and less is definitely what I would recommend It looks very simple. So even though it's electronic I might entertain a product like this only because it looks like it's just really like water or oil that you would put in there so that's not anything too too complicated or convoluted so that is an interesting one so let's go ahead and use this as an example so mini humidifier aroma oil diffuser so let's do mini humidifier in amazon and see what the numbers look like for that because we are using this to try to look up products that we could potentially sell so let's go mini humidifier and see what pops up here not very many searches. There's only 1,788 searches. Again, the reason I can see all of this information is because I have Helium 10 downloaded on my computer. Click the link in my bio, in my uh, description and you'll be able to get the discount to see what I see. So that's where, why you're seeing all of these random uh, data points. But mini humidifier for plants, mini humidifier for bedroom. I'm just going to do mini humidifier. Oh, here it is. We've got 5,500 searches. That's not bad. That's definitely a healthy enough search volume for what we're looking for. Unfortunately, it looks like the reviews are going to be really high here, but I'm not going to assume. I'm going to use the software that, you know, will give me the right information instead of just making an assumption. So let's click on the um, Helium 10 Google Chrome extension with the X-Ray tool. And we're going to see how much money these mini humidifiers are making on Amazon in a month. And right off of the bat, we can see a lot of information. We can see that the search volume for mini humidifiers are 5,549, which is a very good search volume. You know, people are definitely interested in this product. I'm just looking at how the numbers have fluctuated over time. There seems to be a little spike here for... December, so I wonder if people are using this as a Christmas gift. That would make a lot of sense. Another one here, maybe in the springtime for allergies or something. Again, during the holiday season. So this seems to be a very giftable product, which is a great thing. You'll probably make more money during um, the fourth quarter or the holiday season, which is always nice. So what we can see here is the revenue column. So I'm going to click on that column two times so that I can see the numbers from the top down, what's making the most money. And we can see that the number one seller of humidifiers is making almost a million dollars a month. However, this is not the mini humidifier. This is a regular sized humidifier. The next top seller, actually, I think I've purchased both of these is $700,000, but it's also not a mini humidifier. This one here, $650,000 in a month, 
also not the mini version. So what we would want to do is remove these from our searches because they're not actually the product that we want to sell. We're talking specifically about the mini version, not the full version. So I'm going to remove all the ones that are not minis so that we can kind of clear up our results a little bit here. And the reason that we're doing this is because when we get rid of the ones that are not mini, then it's going to give us more accurate data. So right now we can see that the average reviews is at 7,453. Let's see what happens when we remove those items that do not belong there. We go from 7,000 and we're cut by over 50% down to 3,000 reviews, which is a lot better, though still a very high number of reviews, but it's better. I'm actually just going to hide the sponsored products, which are the ads. I'm going to remove that by clicking on that filter. And now we can see the top portable, and I'm not sure that this is a, yeah, it is a mini humidifier. They're making $86,000 in a month. So... And that give us, gives us a lot more clear of a view of how much the mini versions are making. I'm not sure that this one is mini. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's full sized. And this is just by me, you know, kind of reading the title, seeing if they put mini anywhere in the title. And that one doesn't look like it does. So I'm going to remove it from the search results. And that moves around our numbers slightly as well. So now I can see the data for what it truly is. The numbers have changed significantly. The total revenue went from over 3 million all the way down to 400,000. So that's a big uh, decrease in the total amount of money that's being made. So what we can assume from that is that most of the money was being made by the full size versions, not the minis. So that's good to know so that we can decide whether or not we want to sell this product. Average revenue is close to 10000 which is great. Average price is $15, which is the minimum amount that we want to be able to sell our product for. And then we've got the average BSR or best sellers rank, which is just a metric of how quickly the product is selling. This isn't a very impressive BSR. This product isn't selling super quickly, but that number is there. And then the average reviews, which is way over what we would want it to be. Ideally, we would want it to be closer to 200 reviews. This is over 3000. So based off of reviews alone, we would not want to proceed further with this product. But at least we're getting some practice with looking at these numbers. So with that, I'm going to go all the way back to Alibaba onto that main page to see what other products we could potentially sell. So let me go back over here to categories. Let's just look at top categories. We've got consumer electronics as the number one that they're showing. We've got apparel and accessories, home and garden, which is definitely more so what I would gravitate towards. So I know I said we'd switch it up, but oh, I'm so tempted. Okay, let me let me try to keep my word. All right, why don't we go mother, kids, and toys? That at least is a little different from what I would normally look up. So here we can source by category, like baby food, promotional toys, baby care blocks. And then we can also source by age. So what is the target age of, you know, whoever would be using these products? Do we have three to 14 preschoolers, zero to one? teenagers, baby, uh, so on and so forth, products with certifications, new arrivals. I don't know what this product is. I have a three-year-old, so he's not a baby baby, but I do remember a lot of these um, products. I'm not sure what this is. I'm just curious, again, because it's cheap. So anything cheap, I'm like, hmm, what is that product? Okay, reusable, washable, one pocket cloth diaper pocket nappies so these are reusable diapers yeah don't know that i would want to sell a product like this i don't know something about it is not making me want to look into it anymore <laughs> maybe because i'm over the diaper stage i'm just like not into it so let's see what else we could possibly find here lots of wipes um let's see here Swing seat, not really what we would want to sell. Let's see here. Hmm. 
looking for something interesting. A lot of these products are similar to one another. Um, this is not something that should be here, but I'm going to click on it anyway because it's cheap. <laughs> these are customizable paper wedding name place cards. Okay, so customizable name place card. That's what I'm going to look up on Amazon. Sometimes you have to try to figure out what the keyword would be, like what is the product actually called or what would people actually type in. So actually I'm going to just put a name place card because I don't know that someone would come on Amazon and literally type in customizable. We have to be realistic about what people would type in. And it doesn't look like there's very many searches for this. So let me go to name place. See if anything else comes up. Hmm. I'm going to go back to that product real quick because I want to get the I want to get the keyword right. Maybe table card would be a better keyword here. Table card. Yeah, that seems to be. Oh, table numbers. I know that's not what we were looking at. But this just caught my eye. Ooh, okay. This looks interesting as a product. Let me look up the numbers. I don't know why I just got very excited about this. <laughs> Let's see what the numbers look like. Ooh, this looks promising. So the search volume is over 13,000, so that's really good. Total revenue is a little bit low, but not too bad. Average revenue, a little low, not too bad. But the average reviews is under 200, which I love, love, love to see. So let's um, order these from highest to lowest, starting with 36,000 a month. Sorry, I'm um, looking at the stuff and not talking at the same time. Um, but they're doing very well and they have let's see how many reviews they have only 176 reviews i'm actually going to move this review column and just a pro tip you guys you can move any of these columns anywhere you want when you're using this tool on helium 10 so i really like being able to put things next to each other that i want to compare so right here we've got revenue and review count this seller here, they're doing 15, almost $15,000 and they have only 21 reviews. I can see that this product has very, very low reviews. The revenue is not extraordinary, but this is definitely a product where there is room to grow. So remember that I was not even looking up those table numbers. It's just something that randomly popped up and I decided to give it a chance by looking at the data. So I really want to encourage you guys to just see. It doesn't hurt to just look up the numbers and see what you can find, even if it's not exactly where you were going with your thought process. Any product could potentially be your winning product that could be your 10k a month product so have an open mind and definitely look for those products that meet the criteria in some of my other product research videos high demand low competition small in size lightweight not oversized so on and so forth so i really hope that you enjoyed this video of using alibaba for inspiration for products on amazon make sure you always use helium 10 to verify your data before you move forward with sourcing the product and with that we'll go ahead and close out the video i will see you guys in the next one bye guys